Hello folks, uh, the question for today is uh, 2018 May June paper 21 and the question number is 2A. The first uh, uh, question says uh, state Newton's first law of motion, so I am not doing this here. So you can just uh, mug, mug it up from the book or understand. The second question says that a block of weight, a block of weight, uh, 15 Newton hangs by a wire from a remotely controlled aircraft as shown in figure 2.1 so aircraft here wait here wire here the aircraft is used to move the block only in vertical direction so the movement is only vertical the force on the block due to air resistance is negligible so we have neglected the air resistance the variation with time t of the vertical velocity v of the block is shown in figure 2.2 so what it says uh, the rate of change of velocity is uniform first thing that we can say is the velocity starts from negative becomes zero and then becomes positive the velocity is taken to be positive in the upward direction so here <coughs> what it means is that for the most part of the motion from zero to two seconds the velocity is negative velocity negative it means that it is coming in downward direction and then here in this part it is going up so that means what should have happened was uh, the the thing should have been coming downward and ultimately it rests and then it comes upward according to the this graph because initially v is negative downward later on v is positive upward somewhere it becomes zero so negative zero and then positive somewhat like this now now no no the main question starts from here determine for the block for the block the displacement from t equal to zero to t equal to three seconds so we have to find the displacement from here to here so that requires that first we find first we find the distance from 0 to 2 seconds it means so when it uh, falls like this like this like this like this we have to find this distance so it's equal to area of this portion so the displacement should be so uh, distance so the distance downward downward should be equal to should be equal to area of uh, this graph should be equal to half into 2 into should be should be 6 6.8 should, should be equal to 1 by 2 into 2.0 into 6.8 equal to again the distance that travels upward is equal to that travels upward is equal to area of uh, this region and that's equal to 1 by 2 into this thing which is 1.0 into this thing is equal to 3 3.2 3.4 so distance uh, upward upward is equal to 1 by 2 into 1.0 1.0 into 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 so this thing is equal to this thing is equal to 3 3.2 3.4 so into 3.4 so let's uh, do calculations do uh, calculations so it will be it will be uh, 0.5 into 2 into so 0.5 into 2 into 6.8 equal to that's equal to simply 6.8 meters downward the next is so this is uh, 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 into 9.4 is equal to 4.7 meters 7 meters so it goes down by 6.8 and up by up by uh, 4.7 so, so the total will be equal to 6.8 minus 4.7 equal to the total displacement is so displacement is equal to displacement is equal to equal to 6.8 minus 4.7 equal to 2.1 meters and it is downward so it's equal to 2.1 meter and it is downward so this is in the downward direction the change in gravitational potential energy from time t equal to 0 to 3.0 second this means from here to here here to here we have to find the change in pe so it means that it's equal to so the change in gravitational pe is equal to mg into delta h that's equal to 
uh, the whole thing mg is equal to 15 15 as given here weight equal to 15 Newton so 15 into into Delta H so that Delta H should be equal to this thing 2.1 so that's equal to that's equal to 2.1 into 15 equal to 31.5 31.5 5 joules but what I mean is here the displacement is in downward direction uh, negative so that's why we use minus sign here so it's minus 31.5 joules now calculate the magnitude of acceleration of the block at time t equal to 2.0 second so we have to find the value of acceleration of the block over here so the value of acceleration is given by uh, the slope of the graph slope of the graph so we can uh, calculate slope from any position because it's a straight line so what I can do is so a is equal to a equal to slope of graph and that's equal to if I take uh, this uh, uh, this this is whole thing here whole thing the coordinates here is equal to is equal to uh, 3 point 3.2 3 3.4 so it is 3.4.4 minus minus and uh, the coordinate here is equal to minus uh, 6.8 so it's equal to minus minus 6.8 and the time duration is equal to equal to from 0 to 3.0 so it's equal to 3.0 minus 0 so that's equal to equal equal to so 3.4 uh, minus minus plus plus 6.8 equal to divided 3 equal to so it is 3.4 meter per second 3.4 meter per second square so if you write the answer here, it's just equal to 3.4 meter per second square now use your answer in b2 to find the value of tension so what we have here is the tension is pulling it trying to pull it upward the weight will pull it downward and we have the acceleration a also there so we should have the resultant force f resultant is equal to mass into a which means the resultant is equal to the tension force here the upward tension force here t minus mg is equal to ma so therefore t is equal to mg plus ma mg is equal to it is a uh, it is a 15 newton 15 plus the mass of the body is equal to so let us see if a mass is given somewhere no uh, so mass should be equal to this much if weight is 15 newton the mass should be equal to 15 by 9.81 so it should be equal to uh, 15 by 9.81 into this a is equal to 3.4 so let's do the uh, calculations so we will have uh, 15 divided 9.81 equal to into 3.4 equal to and a plus 15 equal to it is 20 so equal to equal equal to 20.2 Newton and this is nearly equal to as given here it is 20 Newton so far uh, everything is going okay so one thing still remaining here the remaining portion is like this the remaining portion the wire has a cross sectional area of area of something meter square and is made from metal of Young's modulus this much and uh, follows Obi's uh, hooks now we have to find the strain here so the value of y is equal to uh, stress by strain by strain and the stress is equal to tension force by cross area a into strain equal to t by a into strain so to find the strain so that's why strain is equal to is equal to t by t by y a so this uh, t is equal to we have just find the va found the value of t which is equal to uh, 20.2 newton and the Young's modulus is equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power 11 into 
the value of this cross net area A is equal to 2.8 into 10 to the power minus 5. So, 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 by doing the calculations, the value of strain will be equal to, so this is the value of for tension here, divided, divided 1.7 exponent 11 into 2, into 2.8 exponent minus 5. So this value is equal to, equal to 4.24 into 10 to the power minus 6, which is the value of the strain. Now, after some time, uh, after t equal to 3.0 uh, seconds, the tension in the wire has a constant value of 50 Newton. So that means this uh, tension is equal to 50 Newton. So what you have is, if the tension nu is equal to 15 Newton, this tension nu is equal to mg or its weight. So this will give us A equal to 0. So A equal to 0 means that there are two things here. A0 means either the body is at a rest rest or it is moving with uniform velocity or it is moving uh, with uniform velocity uniform velocity since the weight and the tension both act vertical so it should be uniform velocity in vertical direction vertical direction so what uh, we have to say is we have to state whether it is possible to deduce that the block is moving vertically. So what you can say is, it can be, it could be moving vertically, or also that it could also be at rest. So we cannot be exactly sure of vertical motion. So that is the answer to this question. So vertical moving vertically, we can say we can confirm it could be because the body can also be body could also have been uh, resting at some place. Thank you.